artists, this is Renika with Engage Art and I'm here of course with Bill Bands, the founder of Engage Art. And one of the top questions we get is, why does Engage Art have the theme of the spiritual battle? But not only that, why do we continue to use the same scripture? Um, there are thousands of scriptures in the Bible, but yet we've decided to continue to use Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 and related, related verses. So why is that? So in a, in a, in a previous uh, cast, uh, I talked about the vision that, that God had given me and that there weren't good 21st century visual images of the spiritual battle. That was from the Lord. Right? So when I was thinking about that and I was looking in God's Word, one of my favorite verses for many, many, many years was Ephesians 6, 17. And that verse, for those of you that are not familiar with that verse, it says, put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And, 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 and in, that, in, in, the, in that Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, the only uh, uh, weapon, if you will, that's both offensive and defensive is the Word of God. All right? So God led me from Ephesians 6, 17 to Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. In Ephesians 6, 10, it sets the stage, all right? That there are things we don't see with the eye. Now we can sit here and we're talking about America and we can look at what's happening and we can look at the, the, the division and the, and the battle. How do you think that came about? It came about because, you know, the, the Bible also says that's attributed to Abraham Lincoln, but it's really a, a, a verse out of the Bible. A house divided against itself cannot stand. All right? So how does, how does that happen? Uh, and it happens because the Bible also teaches, all right, that Satan is the prince of this world. And when you think about that, uh, that's a very powerful, the prince is very, very, very powerful. So when you think about all of those things, if you, if you stop and think about those things, it really is a spiritual battle. You know, things in America aren't going to be solved by the president. I mean, they, they, can, they can help, but it's not going to solve. We've seen division for, for, for a long time. We see it around the world. So what's the answer? First place, we have to be aware that it's a spiritual battle. And you know, God never leaves us alone, all right? So he warns us in Ephesians 6, 10 at the, at the beginning, it's a spiritual battle, the things you don't see with your eye, all right? But it doesn't leave us, that, oh, they say, whoa, 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 and then he says, I'm gonna tell you how to fight this battle. He says, put on a full armor of God. So God had really impressed and pressed on me that. All right? And then he had said, I want you to go out to the world. So, uh, with, uh, you know, Bible says an abundance of counselors is good. So I have, I have good counselors and counselors, you know, the, the team is counseling to me too. So, Bill, don't get, <laughs> don't get crazy. <laughs> let's, let's go step by step. So if you're, if you're aware, we did North and South Carolina and we learned a lot. And then we did, so he said to go out to the world. So that's, that's, that's part of the world, but it's not the world. All right, so then we took the next step and went to North America and the Caribbean, staying on the mission and the vision that God had given me. And now we're completing, I believe we're completing what he told me to do and go to the world. So that's why it's the same verse. It's just that prayerfully we're getting better at ministering to you all and helping you hear from God and what God has called you to do with the skill sets that he's given you. That's our mission. We, we want to help you both personally and professionally. And what we're interested in, in helping you personally, God's the best helper. And how can we help you hear from Him? And that's why we believe that staying in, in Scripture will help you there. Thank you. So there we go. There we have it. Answering the question of why do we focus on the spiritual battle and engage art Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. So we hope that that answered your questions um, about that. And we look forward to seeing your artwork. Remember to take some time today, guys, to engage culture, engage scripture, and engage art.